Julian Andrew Temple is an English film, documentary and music video director. He began his career with short films featuring the Sex Pistols, and has continued with various offbeat projects, including the great rock and roll swindle, Absolute Beginners and a documentary film about Glastonbury. Early life, Temple was born in Kensington, London, the son of Landon Temple, who organized the travel company Progressive Tours. His sister is politician Nina Temple. He was educated at Star Marylebone Grammar School, William Ellis School, and King's College, Cambridge. He grew up with little interest in film until, when a student at Cambridge, he discovered the works of French anarchist director Jean Birgo. This, along with his interest in the early punk scene in London in 1976, led to his friendship with the Sex Pistols, leading him to document many of their early gigs. Career, 1970s, Temple's first film was a short documentary called Sex Pistols No. 1, which set out to show the rise of the band from 1976 a year 1977, in a series of short clips from television interviews and gigs. This led to Temple making The Great Rock and Roll Swindle, another documentary. As band members Johnny Rotten and Sid Vicious had left the band by this time, the story of the group is told from the viewpoint of their manager, Malcolm McLaren. The Great Rock and Roll Swindle tells of the rise of the Sex Pistols, apparently is manipulated by McLaren, and how he had shaped the band throughout their short career. Many of the facts given by McLaren were disputed by John Lydon, who accused McLaren of using the film to attack him personally. This helped split opinion in the film as, although it was praised for attempting to capture some of the punk scene of the time, it was seen as too skewed towards McLaren's vision. Controversy aside, Temple was praised for his mix of animated scenes, documentary footage, and specially shot footage which he used to tell McLaren's story. This helped launch Temple into a career making music videos, something for which he would be best known for much of his career. 1980s and 1990s In 1983, Temple directed a film for the BBC Arena series called It's All True, named after the 1942 unfinished Orson Welles film. Compared by Wells himself, the film comprised many short segments about the state of the video industry, both real and imagined, many featuring cameos by celebrities including Mel Brooks, Grace Jones, Ray Davis, and Kostark. This was followed by Temple's next theatrical release, the short film Jazz in for Blue Jean featuring David Bowie which was released as a support feature to the Company of Wolves. By 1985 Temple was now well known for being a director of successful music videos by The Kinks, The Rolling Stones, David Bowie and other British artists, several of which were early, groundbreaking, videos for the new MTV channel, but he was yet to direct a major film. In 1987, Temple directed the film version of Colin Mackin's book Absolute Beginners. One of the most expensive films in British history, the fate of the studios involved were dependent on the success of the film. The film was critically panned in the UK. As it was a musical, rather than a straight adaptation of the book, it was attacked for a lack of narrative. It was also called a series of badly linked music videos. Absolute Beginners was financially unsuccessful and was partly responsible for the Gold Crest Company going bankrupt. Temple found himself being blamed personally for the failure. He moved to the United States, where he was offered the film Earth Girls Are Easy, as well as a series of music videos for such artists as Janet Jackson, Neil Young and Tom Petty. Temple returned to the UK in the late 1990s, where he continued to make films and music videos. Virgo, Passion for Life recounts the passionate relationship between French filmmaker Jean Virgo and his wife Lido, who both suffered from tuberculosis. A film was not well received. A reviewer in Sight and Sound commented that the film although absolutely faithful to the facts, is absolutely dreadful. Films which followed included Pandemonium, a critically acclaimed film about the friendship between romantic poet Samuel Taylor Coleridge and William Wordsworth, and The Filth and the Fury, another documentary about the Sex Pistols. This time the film was made with the full cooperation of the surviving members of the band and told the story of the band from their viewpoint. This film also mixed newly shot footage and interviews as well as footage culled from the great rock and roll swindle, as well as previously unseen interviews. 
the film was a critical success and was seen as setting the record straight in regard to the history of the Sex Pistols. 2000s, between 2002 to 2005, Temple completed a feature length documentary about the Glastonbury Festival. This involved him shooting footage at the festival as well as drawing on the vast amount of archival footage, as well as footage sent in by fans of the festival. It was released in the UK in April 2006. In 2006, Temple made a film of the life of his friend, Joe Strummer, The Future is Unwritten. In November 2007, Temple filmed several of the Sex Pistols' comeback shows at the Brixton Academy in London. This was followed by several filming sessions with each member of the band as they revisited their old London haunts. The footage was assembled into a new documentary film released on DVD in 2008 as The Sex Pistols, They'll Always Be in England, bringing Temple's association with The Sex Pistols up to date. In June 2008, Temple filmed three concerts by Madness at the Hackney Empire. These concerts were previews of the band's forthcoming album, The Liberty of Norton Folgate. A DVD release is awaited. In 2009, Temple directed the third film in his punk trilogy, Oil City Confidential, which celebrated the Canvey Island legends Dr. Feelgood, and a hymn to the Motor City entitled Requiem for Detroit. 2010s, in 2010, Temple directed the biography Ray Davis, Imaginary Man. Previously, he had directed several Kinks videos. Also, he was referred to by name in the Kinks song Too Hot from their word of mouth album, Julian's on the Street Today slash Scouting Out Locations. Personal life, with his wife, Amanda Temple, Temple has a daughter named Juno and two sons, Leo and Felix. Filmography, The Great Rock and Roll Swindle, UK Subs, Punk Can Take It, Samson, Biceps of Steel, The Secret Policeman's Other Ball, It's All True, Man Trap, Absolute Beginners, Running Out of Luck, Aria, Earth Girls Are Easy, Stones at the Max, Bullet, Virgo, A Passion for Life, The Filth and the Fury, Pandemonium, Glastonbury, Joe Strummer, The Future is Unwritten, The Sex Pistols, They'll Always Be in England, The Eternity Man, Oil City Confidential, Requiem for Detroit, Ray Davis, Imaginary Man, Dave Davis, Kingdom Come, London, The Modern Babylon, You Really Got Me, Rio 50 Degrees, Carry On Karaoke. Music Videos, References External Links, Julian Temple at the Internet Movie Database, Screen Online Biography